Hey, 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 what's going on everybody on the tube? Hope everyone's doing well out there. Hope everyone's enjoying their weekend. I'm having a little bit of fun over here, just working on a few things, uh, getting a little bit further on the zebra striped uh, kick guitar over here. And uh, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun doing this. So a couple of things that I wanted to kind of uh, test a theory on. Now, your pickups of your guitar are pretty much sensitive to interference. The electronics part of it that with the volume and tone control, your cap for your tone, your three-way, five-way, whatever switching you're using for the pickup selector switch, they're not as sensitive to outside interference as the pickups are. And if this was... Uh, if this was something that is untrue, a lot of your electronics like uh, home receivers, stereo systems, uh, you know, would have a lot of problems with interference being picked up. Even though they do have chokes, they do have uh, capacitors inside of them that will help with, you know, some of the noise that you would get interference from your wall and, and whatnot. But this is something that I want to test out and see how it, it's it's going to work. Now I will shield the pickup cavities and uh, you know make sure that they're grounded correctly and everything else. But I don't want to shield the cavity for the controls. And why? Because I don't know the wood inside there. This zebra stripe wood just looks friggin' awesome. It's been clear coated inside there on both. Uh, switching and volume tone control cavities uh, so I don't want to lose the way that looks so shielding that is going to cover all that wood up and make it look you know I don't know just shielded and you can't see inside of it so if I'm putting the Jimmy Page uh, controls you know wiring harness inside of here you know I want to be able to see it you know, if I sit there and say, oh, yeah, it's got the Jimmy Page wire harness inside there. And it really, you know, I can see it without taking you off the back cover. So what I ended up doing is I ordered a sheet of plexiglass. And the plexiglass is the same thickness as the control cover. And I made plexiglass one. So it fits... Got some tape over here to the way. Fits right on there perfectly. And without seeing the tail, I'll take that tape out that's on the inside. That's just to cover the hole. So when I clear it, it's not going to go through it and get it on everything else. But uh, I think it looks really nice with that. And I made one for the three-way switch as well. So I'm going to end up testing this theory and seeing how well it works. And if it does work, well, this is going to have a see-through back cover and uh, no shielding on the inside of here. I mean, I've got the shielding paint as well, so I can go either tape or paint. Um, but the paint is going to hide, you know, the wood as well. So right now what I've got going on here is I have masking tape going around it, kind of exposing partial binding around the edges. And the reason why I have that is I'm going to cover the back of it with plastic or paper or you know something that I'm going to mask it off with. Uh, the neck as well is going to get covered, the headstock is going to get covered, so only the sides and the uh, fretboard are going to be exposed. That's all I need to clear. But before I do that, I have to wait for uh, Jeff over at Diamond Cut Graphics USA because I talked to him about something that I want to do with this, uh, a little bit of a design. And it's going to involve his uh, fantastic inlay, you know, decal work that he does. And uh, that's going to be a little something. I'm going to take three different colors, three of the same decals, and combine them into one. And make it look like it's an inlay. If I try to cut the the top of this to do an inlay on it, um, because of the it being a... Uh, arch top I'm going to have lots of problems with trying to get the uh, 
epoxy resin to sit correctly and not, you know, flow one side to the other side. You know, I'm leveling it off, leveling off an arch top, you can't do it. It's an arch top. There's no way you're going to be able to level it off in order to fill it. So I figured this would be the next best thing. And I'll be able to spray to clear on their, their decals. His decals are so thin that uh, you don't get a bump from, you know, the edges of the decal. It, it's pretty nice work the way he's doing. So, yeah. Um, and the reason why I left a little bit of a overlap, so the overspray will kind of go over and kind of coat around the edge. I want that. You know, I can always think becomes where there's a line here i can sand that line off and polish it there's still a clear coat on the back of this and on the edge of the binding not so much on the sides and on the top anymore and on the top what i ended up doing is i sanded back the sanding sealer a little bit making sure i didn't go through it this time and i inserted the uh inserts excuse me the inserts for the bridge and the tailpiece the reason why i did that now and I got my ground wire inside there as well. I didn't forget that. Uh, I'll mask these things off and spray my clear after I get the decal that I'm looking for. Uh, the reason why I've installed these now is because if I try to install it after the finish is cured, uh, it could crack and or the finish could chip. Drilling holes is not going to be a big deal because there's no holes for the pickup surrounds uh, or mounts. And I'm thinking maybe I can get away with possibly not even using the pickup rings. So I want to see if how that's going to work. I may not like it, but we'll see. But I do want to shield the inside cavity over here, ground the two together, and ground it into the cavity for the uh, uh, on top of one of the pots for the electronics. So yeah, I mean, it's coming along pretty good. Uh, binding has been scraped down. Everything has been uh, taken care of as far as that goes. Uh, so on a funnier note, my Terry 3G's Gold Top Fantasies, Another One Bites the Dust video got flagged. Yes, it got my first flag. Oh my God. And like, how many years have I been on YouTube? Shit. So I, I woke up and checked my email and saw I had an email from YouTube saying that Ben Coombs flagged my video and, uh, it got taken down. So I was like, mm, okay, you know, well. He's got the right to do so because uh, I did take bits and pieces of his live stream. But a lot of people were on the assumption that it's a live stream. Uh, it's not copy protected. I guess you have the choice to copy protect your stuff. I don't know. I, I haven't quite figured it out yet, but I did look into it a little bit. And yeah, I guess you, you know, you can copy, you know, your stuff is copyright or whatever. And, uh, yeah, so I have a strike, and uh, from what they're saying, YouTube is saying, is they have a copyright school that you can complete. Mm. Is that kind of like, like a DUI, you know, type thing, where you have to go and do the testing and stuff like that all over again? I don't know. But anyways, am I mad at Ben? No, I'm not mad at Ben. Am I going to retaliate against Ben? No, I'm not going to retaliate against Ben. Uh, is Terry still a prick? Yes, Terry is still a prick. But anyways, uh, the whole thing on the video was basically, you know, regardless of the brand name of the guitar, it's it's a Les Paul gold top. You know, it's a classic. That's a classic look on a guitar. Uh, it's nostalgic. You know, it's been around for so many years. Everybody has duplicated the original or has tried to at least as close as possible while getting in trouble from Gibson. But it's a classic guitar. You know, why would you take a brand new guitar that's a gold top and poorly paint it black? You know. I, I, I'm I missing something here. I don't understand the whole concept of it. You didn't like it? Well, the thing about this is, is I've known Terry for a long time. And, you know, we've had discussions about, you know, gear and guitars and stuff like that. And Terry was, he's been wanting a gold top, either with P90s or whatever, but a gold top, period, for a very long time. And it's funny because now that he had one, well, Still has it. It's just now black instead of being gold. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Anyways, you know, 
it, it's it's I just can't comprehend why somebody would do that. Oh, it looks better being black. And then to sit there and say, uh, Toman, if you're listening, you need to, you know, do some more with colors for this stuff. It's like, it's a gold top. You don't do no more to it. Period. There's a reason why, you know, if, if you wanted something that was uh, uh, other than a gold top, you should have bought something other than a gold top. Right? So, yeah. So then I started getting some comments on, on the video as well. Um on my last video and one of the comments was a kind of a unique name nickname uh that i've never heard of before and didn't even know existed but somebody kind of you know said it brown nose ben you know and come to think of it throughout watching his his videos now he doesn't get excited for nothing i mean he doesn't get mad he doesn't get i mean he's just as mellow as mellow can be and actually it's kind of like like you know, I don't know maybe it's the pot that he smokes i don't know but uh put, watching a lot of his videos and putting together the nickname with his with him and his videos you know it kind of makes makes sense brown nose ben so that must make terry three g's uh Coattail riding Terry? Is that too long? No, I think it fits pretty good. Which makes sense too, because you know he's been riding the coattails of myself, he's rode the coattails of others, and now he's riding the coattails of Ben. And I know why he's doing it, because he thinks that he's going to get the same benefits as Ben has through uh, receiving free stuff or whatnot for pedals and this, that, and the other. You know, he's trying to collect in on that as well. And the whole, you know, positivity thing, uh, if anybody knew who Terry was years ago, um, there was nothing positive about him. So, yeah, the video was pretty good. It was funny. I'm sorry, guys, that it was taken down. You know, Ben Coombs didn't like that I picked bits and pieces of his video. But, you know, the whole common sense of why would you trash a gold top? You know, another thing, too, which was stupid, is he says that he sanded it completely down to bare wood. Why? You didn't have to do that. It's not like if you were spraying lacquer on top of it, then and you didn't know if it was lacquer under, then I'd say, yeah, okay, you can't spray. The whole thing is, is that you... Uh, you could spray anything on top of lacquer, but you can't spray anything... Uh, can't spray lacquer on anything because it turns into like a paint remover. Okay. And, you know, I doubt that that guitar, uh, I doubt that the spray paint that he was using was lacquer. I know I think mostly that Rust-Oleum is, is, is an enam enamel, I think it is. You know, even if it's the uh, 2X, it's, it's probably still some type of an enamel paint. But anyways, sanding it down all the way to bare wood, that was useless to do. You know, you should have used the uh, top that top coat as a kind of like a a primer for the body. You know, a, a sanding sealer or whatnot. Scuff it up really good and shoot it about three times with uh, the spray that you're wanting to paint it, and it would have been done. You know. And on top of that, he did a shitty job as far as spraying that thing goes. Because in the video, I was able to see pits and and uh, you know scuff. Yeah, so. I, yeah, it's just unreal. But nevertheless, um, so I kind of went to Terry's uh, uh, Twitter account just to see if he was gloating about all this and stuff. And I kind of noticed that uh, I guess Terry's, uh, the girls that Terry comments to, I guess are, uh, they know what kind of a creepy old man he is, too, because some of the comments that uh, he posted to these uh, Twitters, tweets, or whatever you want to call them, the women or girls or whatever took down and deleted their tweets that he responded to. So, yeah, it looks like that uh, even, uh, even the girls on Twitter are starting to figure out what a creepy old man he is. 
So yeah, other than that, uh, everything is peachy. I mean, there's no problems. I Ben did what he did because Terry probably fucking uh, ended up crying his eyes out to Ben to do something about it. And, you know, Ben did it. You know, what can I say? Anyways, uh, that's about it, I think. And, uh, you know, enjoy.